Hi, this is Rob Heppel from FuneralFutures.com with another WordPress for Funeral Home Websites tip. And today's lesson is how to add a PDF with a thumbnail to your WordPress website. So these are the steps to add a PDF to WordPress. And uh, it looks actually more difficult than it is. So the first thing we're going to do is just save the PDF with a web-friendly file name, making sure that there's no spaces. Next, you're going to view the PDF in a full page view and then screen capture it. Then you want to save the screen capture with the exact file name that you did with the PDF, except for the file extension. Then you're going to upload both the PDF and the thumbnail to the media library in your WordPress website. Then add the image to the post, but in the link to area, change it to the custom URL selection and paste the URL to that PDF. And then the final step is just adjusting the size and selecting open in a new window if you want. So let's see how this is done. So here's the PDF that I want to embed into WordPress. And this could be any type of PDF. So if you're a funeral home and you want to embed a copy of a memorial folder, you do this exact same thing. Um, or it can be any type of PDF um, that you want to embed in WordPress. Now I've already have it named in a web friendly now I already have it named in a web-friendly format. And now I use my screen capture program and I just use the free Jing screen capture. And I'll just trace it out here. And let's make it 450. And that will be the actual size that I paste in there. I want to make it nice and big for this, this one. Um, but you can also adjust the sizing in WordPress as well. And then we click image and now we're going to save it with the same file name as the PDF. So I just paste that in here. And we go to save and then we save it. Now we go to our WordPress site and here's the post I'm going to put it in. And so add media, upload files, select files. And here are the two files here. And we're going to select both of them. So one's a PDF, one's a PNG. Open both. And we just want to make sure that uh, the image is the one that's selected. And then we're just going to go down here. We'll add some alt text there. Center. And now what happens here is they actually, usually, it is pre-selected for the media file. So you can just, if you don't have it on your clipboard, you can just copy this. Now this is the link to the PNG and then I go to custom URL then I paste it in the whole way and then just back it off backspace and then add PDF insert into post and there it is and then if you want to add uh, anything else we can uh, go into the settings for the image and I'm actually going to copy this link again. I'm going to use it in, in just a second. Uh, we'll go to advanced settings. I'll put a one pixel border around it, open it into a new window, update. Um, I'm going to actually take that out, but I'll then hyperlink this, paste it into the PDF, open a new window, and that is it into save draft. I'm not ready to publish it yet. And there it is. And if someone clicks on it, it opens up in a new window. And that's it. So for more resources for your WordPress powered funeral home website, visit www.wp4fh.com. And for premium funeral home websites, visit funeralfutureswebsites.com. This is Robin Heppel.